But if you are a girl, you can you probably also be a doctor in the next few years. But I don't use my mouth. Yeah? It takes hard work to achieve that. It is not that you only take your spoon and plate and run the dining room and eat and come back and you call a doctor. No. So, we will give her the chance to tell us whatever has been given to her to tell us. But please, make sure that there should be absolute silence so that we will listen to wisdom. Thank you. Everybody, I can see everybody is eager to learn and it is encouraging. I'm happy to meet you. I don't know if you are happy to meet me. Yeah. <laughs> so like uh, your headmaster said, uh, I lecture at the University of Ghana Business School and my husband is also the dean of the business school. But my husband comes from Congo. Uh, is, it, how do you, is it Congo or Congo? Mm -hmm. Congo. Congo. They are near Congo. 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 Uh -huh. So my husband is coming from home and then he said he wants me to come and visit you, come and talk to you and let you know that uh, we've all been from here and we have come this far and to just encourage you that it is possible. When I was coming, I heard you singing uh, Christian songs, so I, I, I am convinced you are all believers, you believe in God. <laughs> Because God is the God of possibilities. God is the God who is able to raise somebody from where nobody thought anything good would come from. And then by the time you realize, you are surprising everybody in the world. We, my husband and I, are surprised. My husband is also very, he's a professor, but he's very young. He's in his 40s. And he's a professor. And he's the dean of the business school. And he comes from home. His parents are not educated. But he has made it that far. He has become a professor at the age of 40. So I just want to encourage you that all things are possible with those who believe in God. So hold on to that faith and work hard and know that if my husband and I coming from here, if we are able to make it to that level, then you can also make it. It is possible, right? Amen. All things are possible to those who believe. I also attended a school. This place is not even a village. Yeah. I attended a school in a village in the northern region called Yape. Now it's becoming like a town, but it's called Yape. Where we sat on blocks, there were no seats. You are sitting on a seat. We sat on uh, the blocks used to build the building. That's where we sat, in the sun. After school, when you are going home, you look like they buried you and took you out. But that is the school I attended. And then I went to Accra, and then I went to the university. And then I continued to do my PhD, and today I am here. So if God can pick a child from that miserable classroom, make me a doctor, make my husband a professor, I don't see why he cannot do that for you. The Bible says God is no respecter of persons. He doesn't respect that you, you are his favorite, you are not his favorite. No, he does it for everybody. So keep believing in that faith and work hard. And one day I will see you at the top. I will see you. What's your name? Priscilla. Dr. Priscilla. You know. And then obviously of your numbers, but we will keep them in the library so that anytime those who are serious and those who are going somewhere, there are some people who are not going anywhere, but those of you who are going somewhere, you can always go to the library, get a book, learn on your own, not just what they teach you in class, you have to learn extra in order to become the extraordinary person you want to be. 
So I brought you some textbooks. They are over there. All your subjects. We took all your, your subjects. So we have few copies for every subject. And then I'll leave it with your head and I'm sure it will be in the library for those of you who want to read. But now that I've come here and I've seen your numbers, next time when I'm coming, I'll prepare well for everybody. With God as my help. God bless you all and I wish you all the best.